hi and welcome to my vlog. I just thought I'd drop by and let you know what's going on this week in my lovely world of sewing. Um, I've got several projects on the go at the moment. The first um, dress that I'm working on is the Wear Lemonade Frida dress. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, you may have seen that I started this dress some time ago, uh, perhaps what was it, about six weeks ago or so now. Um, and it's actually made from a uh, beautiful uh, All Achille duvet cover. I love All Achille fabric, but unfortunately you can't buy dressmaking uh, fabric um, any anywhere at all. It it's, it's just not sold. Um, so I decided to um, buy a duvet cover, um, which I am uh, making up in as the Wear Lemonade Frida dress. Um, again, on Instagram, you've probably seen um, that I've already made up a couple of Frida dresses. Um, it's a real easy project. It is a great project if you're a beginner because um, there's no closures. So you don't have to add any zips or any buttons or anything like that. It's made as a really loose fitting dress so you can just slip it on and off over your head. Um, you can see at the moment it's looking huge. Um, but what you actually do is um, add a gathered skirt and a belt which pulls it in at the waist. So I've already sewn the bodies together. It's got cute little sleeves and it's finished on the inside with a facing. And I've got the skirt um, pieced together. So you can see at the moment it just looks like a huge piece of fabric but it is sewn together at the side seams and I've also added inseam pockets. You've just got to have a pocket on a dress in my opinion. So um, what I'm gonna do next on this is hand gather the skirt. I always gather skirts by hand um, because many a time I've tried to do it on the sewing machine and as I'm pulling the threads, they just snap and it's always right when you're near to the end. So it's really frustrating. So I just find it much easier now um, to use a couple of hand sewing needles um, and gather the skirt by hand. It takes a bit longer, but actually it doesn't if you take into account the number of times that you do it by machine and the thread snap and then you have to unpick it all and you have to sew it all again. Um, so that's the first project. Um, as it's turning a little bit autumn here, um, I love the colours in this. I think it's really autumn-y. Can't wait to wear it with... Um, brown knee-high boots I think it'll look great um, and because I've been working on for this for some time now put it to one side and forgot about it a little bit I'm really keen to get this finished this week so that'll be my first project um, the second project that I'm going to um, work on is another class for my um, Skillshare channel uh, you may have seen on Instagram um, I've released my first lesson on Skillshare this week um, and for anybody who hasn't seen it the first lesson is how to sew by hand a hexi quilt top um, this is one that I'm working on at the moment um, so if you watch that class I'll show you how to create each individual hexi and then how to start um, sewing them all together and it's all by hand so a, a great project to work, work on in the evening with a cheeky glass of wine. So the second class that I'm looking to film is um, for beginners and um, what I want to do is show how to make uh, beautiful bunting um, and lined bunting. So I know um, you can just make bunting by cutting out um, a single triangle using those crinkle cut scissors um, and putting a, a piece of tape over the top and that's fine you know if you just want it uh, temporarily or maybe for a garden party or something like that but what I'm going to show in the Skillshare class is how to make um, bunting that's lined so it'll last forever and ever and I'm going to be using some beautiful Kath Kidston fabric um, if you do follow me on Instagram you'll see that I love working with Kath, Kath Kidston I just think the colours and, and the flowers are, are really beautiful um, so it will be a free class um, so if you're interested in that then um, I'll put a link in the um, blog post on here um, and check out go over to Skillshare because I'm going to be listing that as a free class you don't need to join the premium membership in order to watch you'll be able to watch it for free um, however 
I am a member of Skillshare myself because I wanted to learn how to paint and it is great value. It's about £10 a month um, and then you get access to all the videos that are on there. Um, so if it is that um, you do want to join the premium membership, then that's great and it helps to give crafters like myself um, a little bit of income that is generated um, by the premium classes because you get royalties. Um, so that is the um, next project that I'm going to be filming this week. So look out for that very soon. Okay, so thanks for dropping by. I'll keep you posted with how I'm getting on with the um, All Achilles dress. Hope to get this finished by the weekend um, and then I'll get some photos taken and get that uploaded. If you've not checked out Wear Lemonade's patterns, um, I strongly recommend that you do. They're absolutely amazing. They've got a huge following on social media. Um, they, it is all in French, so I did find it a little bit tricky to start off with to um, navigate around the website because um, I, I can't read French. Um, but actually, you can join the PDF club, um, which I can't remember exactly how much it is. It's, it's less than a five or a month, and then you have access to all the PDF patterns, and that's pretty much every pattern that they've released. Um, so I've made um, the Frida dress, I've made the Falbella top, um, and there's a lovely coat on there which is on my make list um, for later in the autumn months. So do check out Wear Lemonade if you haven't already. Okay, thanks for dropping by and I'll look forward to catching up with you next week with what next week's sewing plans are.